I'm set up for stereo recording at 44.1K, 16-bit with the internal mics. So let's go ahead and press record. And again, here we go. So now I'm recording and at any point, if I press record, I can drop a marker in. Let's place one at 10 seconds when we come up to 10 seconds. Here we go. And there's a new marker. And then maybe we want to add maybe another one here. Okay, now if I was to stop that and play that back. And here we go. So now I'm recording and at any point, if I press record, I can... I could zip straight forward to that marker that we placed at 10 seconds. Bang, it'll take us straight there and then the other one right there. So mark is just a great place to just drop in kind of chapter points on any recording. Of course, you can always pause any recording just by pressing the play pause button as you record. This is different than pressing stop and record again. If you press stop and record again, you'll make a new file. But if you pause, then you'll just keep on recording all in one recording. Now, take note that the markers function that we just saw a moment ago will only work on WAV format files, not on MP3 recordings.